What's good, YouTube? It's Gary. Welcome to the Fan TV. Back at another video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead, smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Keep hitting that subscribe button, man. So, Ravens training camp day 11. Uh, we back with some more news, notes of what happened today. So, let's get right into it. All right. So, we're going to talk about some player updates first of all. Uh, Devin Williams, Tony Jefferson, Brandon Stevens, Marlon Humphrey, uh, Ty Lindenbaum, David Sharp, all out of practice. Okay. Tony Jefferson could be a veteran day. Uh, Ravens been doing it a lot lately, getting the guys some days off to rest. Uh, Stevenson's been out for nearly a week now. Uh, Devin Williams is new, not sure what's going on with that. Lindenbaum is some confusion about his injury. I've heard uh, Liz Frank sprain, which I never heard before. Uh, one to two, and he spent one to two weeks. But then Harbaugh kind of cleared it up and said, actually, it's not it's not a Liz Frank injury. It's just something with the, one of the ligaments. The one to two week timeline is still is still in play. That's still legit. So we'll see what happens with Linda Bond, but he's out for right now. Uh, David Sharp, I'm not sure what's going on. And Marlon Humphrey, we got to watch out for this one because this is his second straight day. Uh, yesterday, you know, just kind of assumed it was a veteran day. So we'll see what's going on with Marlon Humphrey. It makes sense why they signed Daryl Worley. They're getting, they're getting thin at corner. Uh, so speaking of another cornerback, Jalen Armour Davis, rookie cornerback. He was limited in practice today. So I guess he only practiced for a little bit, only did slight kind of drills. You know what I'm saying? Um, which, but good news. Good news. Two big offensive players came back today. We already know one of them, J.K. Dobbins. Uh, big news for the Ravens. Uh, you know, all purpose running back, back on the field. First day of practice. John Harbaugh said, so far, so good for J.K. Dobbins. So that's what I like to hear. I uh, hope they didn't put him through too much, but glad he's back out there. Rashad Bateman back out on the field. Uh, wide receiver one. Uh, Raven said that he probably could have practiced a couple days ago, but they were being cautious. So glad to see Rashad Bateman back. So now the wide receiver core is pretty much back intact. Bateman, Duvernay, Prochet, all the guys out there right now. All right. Um, also, Steven Means is back. Now, this might not seem as big, but it's big because the Ravens depth the outside linebacker. Just like they depth that cornerback is very, very shaky. So Steven Means is back practicing. That's good. All I got do, all I can do is applaud that. The Ravens still need to sign one or two guys, in my opinion. But the fact that Steven Means is back is good news for the Ravens because that means they have another guy back there just, just to rotate guys around. Okay. All right. Now the Ravens kind of did a couple things today. So one of the things that they did was the one-on-one -on -one drills. Now we know we've been talking about one-on-ones a lot. Um, they did a favor the offense, yes, but it's still an important drill to talk about and bring up. Now, Kyle Hamilton was said to have his best day of uh, training camp. From what I'm reading, that's that's what I'm taking from it. So, we're going to start with what he did in, in the one-on-one -on -one sessions. In the one-on-one -on -one session, we talked about this, this battle between Isaiah Likely and Kyle Hamilton. Isaiah's winning some, Kyle's winning some, but today, Kyle Hamilton won all three matchups, all right? Bad, breaking up passes, batting them down. Apparently, the third one was kind of a low ball, hard to catch, but... Hey, it still goes for the defense because the one-on-one -on -one drill is so hard for them to get a stop that you got to get it however you can. So Kyle Hamilton stepping up. These are the kind of players he's going to face. Big, strong, fast tight ends. And him doing that versus a guy like Isaiah Likely is only good news for the Baltimore Ravens. Only good news. Uh, James Prochet beat Kyle Fuller twice in the one-on-ones, and one of them went for a 40-yard touchdown. Now, two things. James Prochet, from really what I heard, still hasn't lost a one-on-one -on -one yet. I haven't heard anybody say that he's had a ball batted down, deflected, anything yet. So I, I could be wrong about that. Somebody let, correct me on that, but I haven't heard it yet. All right. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Like I said, it favors the offense, but James Prochet is doing what he's supposed to do, and he's beating any cornerback they put in front of him in one-on-one. -on -one. All right. Now, Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller is not a man corner. I know every time these one-on-one -on -one drills come up, I got to mention it, but he's just not a man corner. It's not what he does best. It's not his specialty. Uh, so I hope the Ravens don't put him in too many scenarios this year where he has to play mono e mono man coverage. Okay. Um, now, Devin Duvernay did beat Kevon Seymour in a one-on-one -on -one drill um, just because that's good to hear, right? That You know, with Duvernay's been back, he's been coming back slowly and everything like that. So with him beating Kevon Seymour, I know it's not the biggest deal in the world. I know we can say we we'll won by Kevon Seymour. But it's still something to see Devin Duvernay back on the field making plays, okay? Hi, Katie. How can I help you? Say hi to the, say hi to the people. Hi. hi. Okay. 
All right, y'all, I'm back. Sorry, that was my daughter, special guest appearance, right? Um, so, like I said, Devin Dune beat Kevon Seymour. That's good for Devin Dune. Um, that's what he needed to do. Uh, but Kevon Seymour rebounded and beat Rashad Bateman, broke up a pass, stuck to him close in coverage. Uh, that's good for um, Kevon Seymour to get, get his confidence up. I mean, I don't think he'll make the team, but, you know, good for him to make a play. Rashad Bateman, um, you know, you got to win the matchup. You know, it's, it's his first day back. I'm not going to say too much about it, but you got to win the matchup. All right, now get to actual offense, 11-on-11 11 11 drills. Um, now, the Ravens, this was like their first three plays by 11-on-11, 11 11, right? So run the ball, two yards, second down to eight, right? Second down, Calais Campbell bats the ball, bats the ball down. Now we got a third and eight. What happens? This is a big-time scenario. Lamar Jackson finds James Prochet for a first down. Now, I, this set of plays could very well be something that you're going to see during this season where we get in third and long and somebody has to step up. And the fact that it's James Prochet, I'm glad to hear it because if it was Andrews, if it was Bateman, if it was Lamar, you know, I don't know, making a play, you know, something else happening, that would be expected. But to see a guy like James Prochet make a play on third down, it's just practice. I'm not getting too excited, not getting too hyped about it. It's just practice. But James Prochet has to make these kind of plays, and he's doing it in practice. That's all we can say for right now. We got to see him do it in other regular season games. I mean, he did it last year versus the Broncos. He did it versus the Bengals last year. Now we just got to see it when, you know, the Ravens going to the season this year. What happens, all right? But I was glad to hear that, right? So Slade Bold is another guy. I keep hearing his name. He's stacking days. My only thing with Slade Bold is the Ravens have guys who can play the slot. Proche, Duvernay, you could throw Tylen in there sometimes. I don't know if Slade Bolton becomes redundant at that point of having him there, but he's making plays. We'll see what he does in the preseason. Preseason is going to be big for a guy like him. If he continues to make plays, he, he's not going to be ignored. He could very well make this roster. We'll see what happens. Um, Devin Duvernay was targeted all practice, apparently. Uh, so I think it's just like his second day back, you know, um, since recovering from that thigh injury. So Devin Duvernay is going to do that. The Ravens can really have legitimate wide receiver targets. I know they're not household names. I know they're not guys that's going to say, oh, I know him. But give these guys a chance to play. Let's see what they can do on the field, right? So far, when we hear in practice, they're doing all right. They're doing well enough. Let's see what happens in the games. So Devin Dunay's playing well. That's what we like to hear. Justice Hill had a big 45-yard touchdown uh, catch and run. So that's an important play because I said that if Justice Hill is going to make this, Justice Hill, excuse me, is going to make this team, it has to be because he adds running back value. I get that he's a good special teams player. I really do, but honestly, I don't care. Tyler Beatty, Corey Clement can play special teams. Justice Hill needs to add value by playing running back. And a, and a 45 yard touchdown catch and run, that's how you do that. So that was good to hear. Offense had a good day overall. Uh, Jonas Safer said that the offense won the practice. Uh, but he did say, this is going to transition right into the defensive portion, that the defense was in the back for all game, that the pass rush was there, and that it made some offensive linemen not look so not look so good. So I would take that as the Ravens have a very, very good defensive line, man. So, like I said, pass rush was there all afternoon. Um, Calais Campbell had deflected three passes. Beautiful. Calais Campbell is 6'8". Brent Urban is 6'7". These, these guys got to get their hands up in the passing lanes and back balls now. So, that's great. Clay's Campbell has always done that. Now I need more guys on the team to do that. So, that's good to hear. Uh, what else we got? So, Adafi Owe had a safety, I think, on one of the first drives of the 11-11 portion. And him and Justin Houston were in the backfield for the entire practice. Like, Adafi always getting an update every day. He really is. Justin Houston was really good last year for the Ravens. Four and a half sacks. Could have had a lot more, honestly. Could have had three, four more sacks. Missed them by a couple seconds or didn't bring the guy down. Whatever. Um, so this defensive line, I really think, is much improved and will be a force inside, outside pass rush. And last but not least, Kyle Hamilton really did have his best day. He caught a pick on Tyler Huntley. Apparently, he, he, he dropped in coverage, read Tyler Huntley's eyes, broke on the pass, made the play. That's what we want to hear from a guy that got picked number 14 overall, first round pick. All right. Making a play, dissecting what the quarterback is doing, and acting on it. Kyle Hamilton has all the tools to really be a Pro Bowl safety his 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 rookie year. He does, he has all the tools to do that. Just gotta put that just gotta put it out there on the field. All right. Um 
one thing I did like too is that the first person, well, one of the first people to congratulate him was Chuck Clark. And we know all the rumors about Chuck Clark being traded or not being valued and things like that. But for him to congratulate Kyle Hamilton, while it may seem small, I think it's a big deal, right? Chuck Clark is the consummate professional, so I always love seeing things like that. So shout out to Chuck Clark. And the Ravens ended the drill, I'm sorry, ended practice doing a, a, a wet ball drill, apparently. Uh, it sounded more like Ricky Hazen, honestly, I'm not going to lie. They, they, were spray, they were spraying the rookies with water and making them recover the fumble on the ground. Uh, it sounded like it was just some fun to end practice, but that's the way that the practice shook out. So some good things, Kyle Hamilton, big day, defensive line all over the place. Uh, Devin Duvernay, pro shade making plays. That, and this, like guys like Slade Bolton, stacking days, getting better each day. Uh, so good day of practice for the Baltimore Ravens. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, it's your boy Gabriel with the Fan TV. I'm out.